Desmond Tutu is quoted as saying, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all darkness. Hope says that situations will turn out for the best regardless of how they started or how challenging it becomes. But Yolanda, what if your hope is gone? I mean, I'm sure Camille asked many times, what happens when a situation doesn't seem like it's gonna work out for the best? I'm glad you asked. Allow me to share a time in my life's journey where hope eventually kicked in despite a very rough start to a very dark and challenging situation. And the journey began in 2008 in a doctor's office when these three words were spoken. Congratulations, you're pregnant. Wait, wait, scratch that. The journey began in 2008 in a doctor's office when these four words were spoken. Congratulations, you're pregnant. What? I mean, at that time, I was knock, knock, knocking on 40 years old. And I remember asking this doctor in total frustration if she remembered telling me after a surgery that she performed two years prior that I couldn't have kids. I was like, ma'am, you said it. You were in there. You did the surgery. And you said it would be a miracle for me to have any more children. This doctor had the gall to say, well, congratulations, Moses. You have parted the Red Sea. I said, well, you need to let my people go. I'm almost 40. Well, the doctor wasn't listening to me. So I pointed my frustrations upward after all, God did this. So I said, God, <laughs> did you blink? You have the wrong address, the wrong file, the wrong age. I'm almost 40 years old. And I remember his answer like it was yesterday. My child, it's in my plan. But because of everything that was going on at the time, I remember my answer back to him was, you made a mistake. Yes, I know in those situations, usually that's cause for celebration at the start of a new life. But for me, it was the icing on a very bitter cake. Because at the time I was going through a divorce from a difficult marriage. And in many ways, it was an abusive marriage. And with everything that was going on, that fallout from the divorce was, I ended up with no car because it got repossessed. I had a house that was in foreclosure. I had a nearly depleted bank account and I was left to raise our nine-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter all alone. And now doctor, God, you're telling me I'm four months pregnant and I'm about to bring an innocent little life into this mess. I kept thinking this could not be right. And as I left the doctor's office, the shock sat as heavy as those bruises that were less all over me from the last encounter with my ex and the weight of my predicament sat just as heavy. And I didn't see any hope in that situation at all. And amidst the darkness and the hopelessness, I won't lie, I wanted to end it all. And my plea to God was, please just give me peace and put an end to all this pain. But the moment that it changed was like a literal kick in the pants because that little being that I was carrying chose that moment to kick me for the first time. He kicked the bemusement out of me as if to say, hey lady, I wanna live even if you don't. And I remember not only hearing, but feeling him say, don't give up on life and don't give up on hope. And it hit me that I'd been told that I couldn't even have any children. And here was this little miracle inside of me fighting to go on. And hope kicked in because I realized he wouldn't be able to take his first breath unless I took my next breath. And I got through the next minute and the next hour and the next day. And that lit a fuse in me and a glimmer of hope began to shine a light in my dark place. It was as if God knew exactly what I needed because in answer to my plea, he sent this little miracle amidst all that chaos. And that is what it took to get me through the next day. And the next, remembering this little life was depending upon me living. My two other children were depending upon me and watching how I took my cue at living life from that moment forward. And as I fought to get our lives back on track, I discovered strengths I didn't even know I had 
until I had to use them and use them I did. I began to rebuild and restructure and restore my life and the life of my children. And I began to share my story of strength and survival and hope with anybody who would listen. And my story became a beam of light in the dark place of many that were going through difficult situations. And I decided at that moment, if my life was going to be an open book, nowhere would you read anywhere the words, I gave up hope. It's been almost 12 years, believe it or not, since hope kicked in and the scars from that situation have now healed and me and my kids are whole. We live in a beautiful house and 23 year old has a car, the 21 year old has a car, mama has a car, the baby wants a car on layaway, we reign in cars. And we've restored and gotten back everything that we lost, plus a little bit left over to continue helping people who are in those difficult situations. I named my little miracle baby, who was born on Christmas Day, by the way, Jeremy, which means God will uplift. And he did when hope kicked in. And Jeremy, his big sister Kayla, and his big brother Jonathan continue to be a source of hope in my life. No more kicking required. And I continue to be thankful for that moment when hope kicked in. So if you're listening to my speech from a dark place where there seems to be no hope, remember that the sun shines even after the darkest of nights. Let my journey of strength and survival and hope be the starting point to you getting through the next moment, the next minute, the next hour. And that can serve as your miracle that can shine a light into your hopeless dark situation and get you through the next minute, the next hour, the next day. And when everything around you says give up, hope says to hold on because the pain ends. Let me say that again, hold on the pain ends. This too shall pass. And one bad chapter does not mean the end of your story. Any setback you go through will set you up for a comeback, but you have to be confident in it and you have to expect it and you have to wait until your situation turns out for the best, regardless of how it started out or how challenging it became. Look where hope led me. And giving up will never be an option if you have hope. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. And by now, I'm confident and I am fully expecting that your hope has also kicked in. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>